Hey, we're back. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this level. Okay, so Poofy here asked me a very philosophical question. Yeah, that the I most have like never asked myself this before. That's why I'm here. You, yeah, that's, 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 that's also why I don't questions. know because there were so many games. Like, because like I said in last episode, like there were so many games that I had to beat the hardest setting to get that I just didn't care. But man. Oh my gosh, I would really have to like to, to give you like the answer of the best one. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. Can you name, name but, some just ones that off the top of your head that you were like um that you remember unlocking? Because I I can't even remember because I because I almost never unlocked any. I can't remember many that I did unlock. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um. Man. I remember unlocking like like certain bikes and stuff or like down hit like uh. Like some of the racing, or like Dave Mira back in the day, or like I do. Okay, you know, a lot of the Tony Hawk games, yeah, they had like some pretty good stuff. I will. I right, so this um, isn't really an unlockable, but you definitely had to save up a whole bunch of money to unlock to buy. So I played when I was first playing games. I played a lot of Gran Turismo you 2. Sure did. Play a lot of like, Gran Turismo 2 on the PlayStation 2, and there was this um, car. It was a rally car. It was a Suzuki rally sport. Like normally Suzuki makes like crap cars, <laughs> but they had this one rally car that had over a thousand horsepower. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Over a thousand. It was it was four wheel drive over a thousand horsepower. Okay. So it was supposed to be a rally car, and it's like a real rally car in real life. Mm -hmm. Like it's one of like the like legend rally cars. Oh, oh, it's a legend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it won a whole bunch of. Uh, it, it specifically was actually made to do this uh, uphill rally, like one of the biggest rallies in, in the world. Huh. Um. But anyway, so but like I saw that it had a thousand horsepower, and I was like, yes, um, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So I did. I spent so much time doing um, a marathon races, which in um, in Gran Turismo 2. So in, in the other in the other Gran Turismo's, you have an option to like hire a racer, and then he takes a certain amount of like cut of your credit if he wins and stuff. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you can you know RPG elements in my hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but in this one, like you couldn't. So there was some so. The marathon races, they either were lap marathons or time marathons. And the lap marathons, you, you race... Wait, by marathon, you mean like endurance races? Kinda. Well, yeah, I mean, in, in essence... Like, like multiple, like very, like a lot Very laps. long. Be like either by laps or just by length? Yeah. Like, I well, by time? By, yeah, so... And um, in these races, unlike the other ones, you would have to keep track of your tire. Um, oh, tire tread. pressure. Yeah, tire, tire pressure. tread and uh -huh. everything, yeah. Uh -huh. So... It's like some, some of them were like 500 laps on this. 500 uh, laps. 500 laps on this, you know. How was it? A, was it like a like 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 a loop? It was it like a loop track? No, like some of them were like well, it would just be whatever, like just on tracks like Laguna Seca or or other ones. Well, I imagine they, they're probably smaller than 500. No, laps. no, they really? were like legit, like normal size, like Dude, tracks that's you. That's like a two-hour-long race. Tracks you ran before right what and so uh, there, there were some of those or there was some two hour two hour marathon ones or one was a five hour marathon and this is five hours of real life yeah like real life like, like it's not accelerating clock no like, like grab so, like go to the bathroom <laughs> i literally i started with the but they had the, some of the biggest payouts and like when you won you got like some legit cars mm -hmm. and you could sell them for lots of money so what I did was that I did like the there there was like three of them that I, I figured out for the amount of time that I spent on them gave me the best payout with the car that I got too. And so I did those three like in rotation. So I want to get too bored. How did you track. How did you not like you had school? <laughs> this, is you? The, this is the summer. Oh, this is like my summer okay. vacation oh, one. Okay, this is like my, I, all of my summer vacation. <laughs> yeah, one, pretty one, much yeah. your entire. And so I, I, uh, so the the Suzuki I think was like I can't remember. I'm gonna get this number super wrong, but it was something ridiculous high. high. It was the most expensive car in the game. 
it was something like well how expensive could the cars get i don't like that i can't remember now okay but it was something like 10 million dollars or something like that like something ridiculous that like it's not even worth that much in real life yeah well no it's, it's probably worth more than that in real life um <laughs> With how much technology? Well, is now, there. but not, not at the time. Nah, well, we'll no, we'll maybe we'll do some research later. But this this show is not about research. Not this segment. <laughs> this segment is not about research. I'm never about research. Yeah. <laughs> when 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 we uh, start our CHG corner gaming corner next week, that'll be about a little bit of research. A little bit. Just the tiniest. Bit. Just like just <laughs> just, just enough to the not, not get for, for, for yeah, for not to get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> um. So anyway, um. So I got that car, and like I said, it's, it's supposed to be only for um, rallies, like dirt and stuff like that. Um, it does not handle well. Yeah, like a on rally car. The road. Uh huh. Like a rally car. But when you have a thousand horsepower, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would like be riding the rail around the track and just like. I was so fast that it, like, as long as it had enough laps, I would win every one. And I'm just like, I wouldn't steer, basically. Just like, Nyeh. Yeah. We gotta play that game. And then you need to, like, go unlock that car. Oh, it would take so long. And then, and then, let's, do get a game shark. And then let's do an episode. If we get a game shark, <laughs> so I can get, like, so I don't have to go through well, the freaking... Was GT2 on PS2? PS2, yeah. Bro, I got, I got your solution. Yeah, yeah game worry. shark. No, yeah. no, no. Better. Better? <laughs> better. How do you get better, better. than Game Shark? Okay, so I didn't have a Game Shark for PS2. Uh, I had one for Game Boy. Like, Game Boy Game Sharks are the best. Um, but I, I found a thing at GameStop of all places. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, back, you know, back you know, when I was younger. Uh, called, oh, by the way, this is the sub cannon. And it just sucks like things. Okay. <laughs> can you shoot it back out? Yes, you can. <laughs> Anywho. Um, oh, yeah, like, like it's like that. And you see that, see that meter to the right? Yeah. That's like how much ammo charge. I have. Not really charged ammo. Uh, and then it's just... Oops. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, anywho. There's a thing I found at game, uh, game, uh, GameStop called Code Codebreaker. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A Codebreaker. Yeah. Um, by Pelican. And I was like, what's this? And so I bought it. It was like 20 bucks. I bought it. And then I was like putting in the system. I was like... This is the greatest. It might. It might have been. I've maybe. Seen. Maybe I use that. I just remember this there was like the best. a whole list of things that you could do, like oh, infinite well, credits. And... Game Star probably had the exact same thing. Yeah. And for some reason, though, just that for the PS2, the Codebreaker was literally the best thing I've ever come across. Yeah. It was awesome. So we get that, oh. and we can, and I, I will, can. I will buy that. Again. Yeah. I will pop because then we can use it for other PS2 games. It's been, it's been so long since I played Grand Turismo <laughs> Two. But yeah, no. I oh remember. yeah. So like, so like I said, not not a real Price. unlockable. But that was like, it was basically an unlockable. Oh, hold up. That just made everything better. There's a bolt here. I don't remember where it is. I thought you, I thought you knew where all the gold bolts. I gotta remember. I just gotta remember. So I, I would say that that's probably that's one that I remember. It's kind of unlockable. It made the game <laughs> easier. <laughs> Oh, I'm um, sure it was. I think it's... Hmm. This one, I might have freaking I'm gonna have to do some research. No, because later in the game, you you, you get a gadget that will, that will show you where all the secret areas are in each level. Ah. So you don't really need it. Gotcha. Although, I think... I, I'm gonna go on the limb and say it's somewhere in this path. But I don't know. We'll find out later. Well, I might be able to check the map see if there's an area there that I... Oh well. Oop. Oop. Nope. Nope. There we go. I'll come back to it. Doesn't matter. But yeah, so there, there's that. I can't, like, like I said, I. Okay, alright, no. So there's there's another one that I remember. Oh, so I, you probably know because this is this is just gaming history. Oh. But do you, when I say when I say what do you say? Tech Mobile. I have only know of the game. I know it's an old what NES or SNES. Uh, it's probably SNES or something like that, or maybe even never older. really played it. Okay, but like, do you know there was one character, one one player in Tecmo Bowl that was like you had him and you could win. Like it's been, like it's been, it's, it's scientifically been, proven, proven like you win. It does, doesn't even matter. And it was like made. It was it was like it was on Family Guy. 
<laughs> really? Yeah, because Peter Peter used him and like the guys were complaining oh, about it. Hi there, fuzz ball. So some weapons in this game really aren't that good. And this is one of them. Hunter. Like like they're really like gimmicky. Yeah. We'll use this later. But um it's really just for luring. But you don't really need to. I mean I guess in this level, in this level it like only works like it works in this level, in this level alone. <laughs> That's it. Oh, <laughs> Which I mean like you can use it in other levels, but like it doesn't matter. But you'll see what I mean later. Anyways, go on with your technique. Alright, so, so who's the character? I don't know who Bo is Jackson. Like. Oh! So there's a real person. Oh yeah, he's oh, a real person. So they, no 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 no. I mean like I know he's a real person, but like the person you were you were gonna say was a real person. I don't mean like some made up character. No, no, not, yeah, yeah. No, oh wait, so, so they made him as do as just as dominant as he was in real life? He pretty much. He's like <laughs> he just like couldn't like especially in Tech Mobile, like because in Tech Mobile there was no like things like stamina bars and everything weren't around yet so like you could just like literally you could just r run laps around the field and, and just like just burn the whole clock like of a whole quarter on one play because of bo jackson so i never played that i just watched videos but what i did play it was i can't remember which one it was it was on a playstation 2 again it was an ncaa game like maybe like 98 or 96 like one of the older ones but on there was PS2. On PS2. PS2 came out in 2001. What are you talking about? 96. <laughs> maybe, may, maybe. Okay. All right. Maybe it was PS1. I don't know. It was one of those. Oh shush. It was one of those really old ones. Okay. And you you could put in a code to get the um, 1984. Whenever Bo Jackson played for Auburn, oh, Auburn's football jump. team. Okay. And although he wasn't as dominant as his Tech Mobile counterpart. Mm -hmm. Bo Jackson was still by far a just, beast. Like just on you just couldn't <laughs> tackle the guy with one keg, like with one guy. He was just like shrug off, like not even slow down. He's just like, yep, I'm, I'm Bo Jackson. <laughs> How come we haven't added him in the Madden games, man? Dude, he, well, like he's there, like he's so and of course like Madden now is all for money. So it's on he's on the um, the the ultimate teams or whatever, oh, like the, the my the player teams, teams or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And like again, like you get him in those and he just I mean, he's, he's not as I haven't I played against him and it yeah, it was, <laughs> it How'd was that go? <laughs> bad. Like it was he, he did really good. Like I, I think I still won that game because the the guy I was playing against wasn't that great. Uh -huh. Um but yeah, he was still really good. Um but man, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, man. I don't know much about. I'm not the sport. Like, okay, Poofy here is the sports guy. Yeah. He he's all around all the sports, right? Love, Just yeah. all the sports. I'm a sport guy. I I I I'm not a sports guy, but like I know enough to have conversations. Yeah. <laughs> so like like I can I can talk to Poofy here and I'll know what's going on. So even though this is a video game thing, I think that us it be given some Bo Jackson stories might be interesting enough to to entertain people even on this channel. But it's just. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Like, is okay, a my stepbrother, he's also a sports guy, right? Super sports guy, watches ESPN, like, that's his only channel he watches. <laughs> like, him and ESPN is like me and G4 TV when I was a thing. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> Which, shout out to G4 TV. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, by the way, so these are little, um, gadget bots. And they're, they're kind of like the Agents of Doom you saw earlier, but just they're controlled by me. Like, in real time. Gotcha, gotcha. And they follow you. Anywho, um, hold, hold on, there we go. Um, they, uh, what was I guess, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the sports thing. Okay, so he showed, he was like, he, he brought it to me, he was like, hey, do you know Bo Jackson? I was like, no, I don't know who Bo Jackson is. I don't know anyone, really, yeah. <laughs> who's a sports player. He was like, bro. <laughs> so it just go, bro. Like, this guy was, like, it was stupid. It's stupid how good he was like i don't get it he's not human and he showed me a highlight reel of the guy and i was like how does this how does someone like this exist <laughs> like in this world amongst us right he was like, an alien he really was it is such a shame like that he could not play longer yeah okay so oh my so that was the biggest like robbery ever google bo jackson bo in, yes highlights just just oh there, there's it. there's actually there's a there's a um a ESPN 60 for 60 or 30 oh, for 30, whatever, on Bo. And you need to watch that. It's incredible. So, some of the stories from this is, okay, so this is kind of like, 
like legend stories. Like you don't know if they're real, like folk hero stories. But it's Bo Jackson, so I believe they're all real. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so there's this one story from when he was like a kid, like a young kid, that there was this dog that was harassing him or his sister or so I can't remember the exact story. But he took a rock, like a normal size rock, and threw it at the dog so hard the dog died. that it killed the dog. Was it a stray? I can't remember I the hope exact was. story. <laughs> I hope it like, was. <laughs> so you, you, so strong that he, as a kid, he took and just, just threw a rock, killed a dog with a rock, like a gun, like, <laughs> like a gun, like a gun. So ridiculous. Cool. Okay, so, um, so you might know this because you, you watched some highlights, but he played two sports. Baseball, right? Yeah, he played, he played he uh, played football and baseball. Was it same time? Same time. Okay. Okay. So because when he was dra when he was originally drafted in the NFL, he was drafted with the first pick by the Bucks. And back then in the eighties and early nineties, the Bucks were like the Browns of today. Like well, what are the Browns? Are absolutely good? horrible. Oh, okay, like no. <laughs> anyone who goes there, their careers die. <laughs> like it doesn't matter how good you are. You will be swallowed by the ineptitude of that organization. <laughs> so we're, we're careers go to die. <laughs> yeah. So like he told them like, hey, if you draft me, I'm not playing for you. And they drafted him number one overall. And he was like, I'm gonna go play baseball. <laughs> so and they kept him. <laughs> yeah. So they so dumb. So he uh, he went and went and went and played baseball. And the next year he was in the draft again because he was still draft eligible. And he was picked again, uh, but later on in the draft because people were scared that he wouldn't come out again. He w I can't remember what round, like third or something like that. But he was uh, picked up by the Raiders, who we did end up playing for. So, so Bo Jackson was good enough that if he would not, if he wasn't injured, if he hadn't been injured, it was, injured. A, was it a quad injury? Was it ACL or something? Or? No, I can't. Was, so it was a career. I know it was a career injury, wasn't it? Not for football, at least for football. Yeah. So it was like, was it an ACL? I'll, 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 I'll tell the story because the story is unbelievable as well. <laughs> okay. The, this man does nothing that is ordinary. Even getting injured, <laughs> he does it in the most spectacular way possible. <laughs> So, but just a quick, like, uh, how good he was just as an athlete. For all you guys, because, like, he, I, I know. He was an all-star in baseball. He was an all-star in football. He played, so when he, because Bo was a very, like, um, how do I put this, like, old school kind of, like, he, when he decided that he was going to play. The frick? Oh, geez, he died. Why are they dying? No. When he decided that he was going to play, um, baseball he wanted to put all of his effort into it and because he picked baseball first baseball was first for him and it was kind of his, his childhood love too like he was more into baseball than he was football um so he played a full season of baseball and he only played nine weeks out of a six it was like nine weeks or something like that out of a, a 16 week football season and he still was an all-star he still <laughs> was among one of the league leaders in, in rushing like every year for when he played football um so they were saying like back in his prime that he could have been the first person ever to be um a hall of famer in both sports oh okay yeah that's that's what i was thinking yeah he was just that good all right so now the, the injury story um uh, so Oh, so baseball story real quick is like uh, one time he got mad after striking out that he broke a baseball bat over his head. He, he just like took it over his head and just snapped it into like a twig. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of the most famous like Bo Jackson yeah, videos. Bo Jackson. He just he just took the baseball bat like a thick oak baseball bat and just crack over his helmet. Well, I'm gonna stop you right there because we have to go. We have to go next time. Oh, yeah. Next time, we're gonna press this. Come, come back for the, the injury story yes. of Bo Jackson. And it is, we're gonna press I guarantee you, it's ridiculous. It's probably the most ridiculous thing. And we're gonna press this big red shiny button yeah. afterwards. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, Don't guys. forget to like, subscribe, share. You know, please share our, both our uh, Facebook channel and our YouTube channel. Facebook page. Page is probably a better word. All right, guys. Love you. Bye bye. Bye.